Hello everyone, welcome to part one of, of the tutorial for the window album version one. So acetate window album version one tutorial is what I'm calling this. Um, the full cutting scoring guide is down below. It's going to go take you to my Etsy shop. Um, this time I've included all of the um, pattern paper sizes, the mat sizes, absolutely everything that you're going to need to successfully complete this project okay so the pattern paper sizes are there the acetate sizes are there absolutely everything is in the cutting guide for you that is going to be linked below so i do have a question for you right now coming up um, right after this if you want to see the walkthrough of this album i'm not going to take you through it in part one i'm going to link it below if you haven't seen the walkthrough so you can go and watch the walkthrough all right guys have fun Hello everyone. So this is going to be part one of the um, the new album. We're going to be doing the window album. So from the votes, I had asked you guys to vote between the um, baby collection and the Disney collection. And from the votes, there are more for the baby collection. Um, so the other baby collection I have is the girl one as well. So I have a new question for you guys because we won't have to use any pattern paper in this part of the tutorial. Um, would you guys still like me to do another girl version, another girl baby version, or um, should I do a boy one since I already did the girl one? So this one is um, an, a collection I've had for a long time. It's by Kaiser Craft. I don't even have the whole collection. I kind of just bought everything um, that they had at my local scrapbooking store uh, but it's called peekaboo collection and it's by kaiser craft it's really really cute it's more of a vintage type collection so it's got all the sweet little cut aparts so i'm just going to give you guys a quick sneak of it it's very vintage it's got those super cute like light blue throughout it there's some little um like border strips i would probably use this side just because I, it's probably my favorite paper um and then yeah and then it just kind of repeats so you guys let me know which collection if you still want me to do the girl version that we had talked about before so the bundle of joy version um or if you'd like me to do the boy version okay so you guys just vote below and let me know. And then in the next, in part two of this tutorial, I will be using the, um, I'll be starting to use some pattern paper. There's going to be a full cutting guide uh, available on Etsy for this um, tutorial. It is going to have your, um, your scoring and cutting guide and I'm also going to be including all the mat sizes that we use for every paper it's going to be very detailed and I'm also going to include the pattern paper in this one okay so the link to the cutting guide is going to be below this video all right so let's get started with um, creating the cover that's what we're going to do in this part of the tutorial we're going to create the cover together so for that you're going to need a couple of different things so you're going to need a piece of acetate that measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters so as i said the cutting guide is available but i'm still going to give all of the measurements as we go through um, the tutorial but the cutting guide just makes it a little bit more convenient so you can pre-cut everything and be ready so then you're going to need two strips of um, your lightweight black cardstock that measure one by eight and i like this um for wrapping my books i like this one from uh, michael's it's got kind of like a linen texture i don't know if you guys can tell but it's really really nice for wrapping um, and then cardstock wise you are also going to need two pieces that measure 10 by 10 and again it's that same linen but you can use whatever black cardstock you like that's like a lightweight and then you're also going to need one that measures four and a half by 10 okay so four and a half by 10 that's going to be for wrapping our spine 
And then you're also going to need one that measures eight by eight, okay? So that's your linen or whatever black cardstock, lightweight black cardstock you are using. And then chipboard wise, you're going to need one piece that measures um, eight by eight of chipboard. Well, you're gonna need two pieces of eight by eight chipboard and then we're gonna cut the frame out. And then you're going to need one that's two and a half by eight, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about our frame. All right, let's first start by creating the frame that's gonna be for the front of our book. So we are gonna be creating the chipboard frame just like this. So what we need to do is take our ruler and we're gonna mark in at one inch. So one inch here like this. And then you're gonna take and rotate your ruler and mark in at one down from here. So you're gonna mark in one from the corner going this way and down from the corner going down, okay? And we're gonna do that on all four sides. okay so that you have your one inch marks down and to the side of each corner then you're just going to take your ruler and connect those marks just like this around the whole thing all the way around. All right, so now we have a one inch frame around our chipboard and now we would just cut out this center part here. So I will get my mat back in. This is just a self-healing mat. All right, and then I like to use my metal ruler and I will just line up my metal ruler along one of my pencil lines and just cut within that frame with my craft knife. Now, depending what kind of craft knife you have and how thick your chipboard is, it might take a couple of passes, but my chipboard is the medium weight and with my knife, it takes three passes. So now you're just gonna continue around and cut that entire frame out and then your frame is going to look just like this. All right, so the next step is to grab your piece of your cardstock, your lightweight cardstock that measures eight by eight. And what we're gonna do is just place it right on top of our frame so that it covers the entire frame all the way around, okay? Cause it should be, it should cover it equally all the way around. Then you're gonna take a piece of washi tape or whatever kind of um, removable adhesive you have. And what we're gonna do is just make sure that your cardstock is covering your whole frame. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape so that it laps over to the other side. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So just like this. All the way around your cardstock so that it's fully attached to your frame, just like this. All right, so then you're gonna grab your craft knife back in and on the other side, so not the side that's fully, on the side where you can see your frame, all you're gonna do is take your craft knife and run it along the inside of your chipboard to cut out another frame from that cardstock, okay? And this is how we're gonna be able to get it the exact size of our frame so it covers it perfectly 
when we are ready for that step. So just cut that entire inside out. All right, it might stick in a couple of places, but it should come out pretty easily. Just like this, okay? So now we remove our washi tape or whatever kind of removable adhesive you used. And we have a perfect frame to cover all of our construction when we are ready for that step, okay? We're not ready for that yet. So for now, we are going to go ahead and put this aside. The frame that we just created, just lay it aside and we're gonna go ahead and wrap our chipboard frame. So for that, you need one of your pieces of your cardstock, your lightweight cardstock that measures 10 by 10. And we are gonna go ahead and grab our glue and glue our frame to this 10 by 10 piece. So I am just using the Fabri-Tac or Beacon 3-in-1 because I like it because it's a little bit movable. So just like this, get the glue all over the frame, but you can use whatever adhesive you're comfortable using. And we're just going to center it right into our black cardstock, okay? So just like this. All right, and make sure it's nicely adhered. All right, I'm gonna put this aside to dry for a second. And we're going to grab our other piece of black, of, of our chipboard, that's eight by eight. And we're gonna glue it to the center of another piece of 10 by 10 cardstock. And this is going to be our back cover. And we're just doing it now so that it has time to dry. So again, just add your glue all over the back of it. And just place it in the center of your black cardstock. So you have about an inch border all the way around. All right, kind of turn it over and smooth it on. Now we can lay this one aside to dry as well. All right, and then we'll also grab our piece of chipboard that's two and a half by eight and our cardstock that's four and a half by 10. And we are just going to glue this right in the center of our cardstock piece. So remember, this is just lightweight black cardstock. And I'm just gluing it right in the center so there's an even black border all the way around. And this is for our spine. All right, just like this. Okay, now we can lay this one aside to dry. And then we will continue to work on our frame, so the front of our of our book. So we're gonna wanna grab a ruler now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up from corner to corner here, and this needs to be a metal edge ruler. And we're gonna line it up from this corner to this corner. And with your craft knife, you are going to cut corner to corner, okay? Just like this. Then turn it around and go to your other corner. And we're gonna cut corner to corner. Just like so. All right, so now you should have four triangular flaps, just like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna again take my ruler and I'm going to mark in on each side of my little flaps, I'm gonna mark in three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna mark in three quarters here and three quarters here. And then the same thing on the other ones.
All right, so now we've got those marks all the way around. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to connect those marks with my ruler and then with my craft knife, I'm just gonna cut across and just stop before I get to my next flap, just like this. Then I'm gonna line up my next two And just keep going around doing that all the way around. All right, so now your little flap should look just like this. So next, take your ruler again and line it up on your corners here. But what you're gonna do is try to overlap your ruler on your corner about a 16th of an inch. So line it up and make sure your ruler goes over the corner of your chipboard about a 16th of an inch and then just cut that corner. So you're gonna want about that much space in there. So do that on all four sides. All right, so now your piece should look just like this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside and we are going to bring up all of our little flaps. So just bring them up and run your bone folder along the chipboard on the inside and just fold it over really nice, burnish it really, really well. All right, and then we're going to grab our glue. So I'm using my art glitter glue for this step. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get glue right in the, where it bends over and then all over my, my flap here, bring it over the top. And I always like to go with my fingers first and then burnish with the bone folder. All right, so the same thing for the next one. Bend it up, go along it with the edge of your bone folder at the bottom first, along your chipboard, and then add the glue right in that crease down here and all over your flap. Be generous with the glue. Just like this and then burnish it down with the bone folder. Just like that. All right, so as you can see on the other side, it's starting to create our pretty frame. So do the other two the same way. All right, so now we have got the inside of the frame wrapped. So now let's do the outside. So go ahead and bend your pieces over top of your frame, just like this. Burnish them nicely, and then make sure that when you fold it over, there's no room 
between the chipboard and the cardstock, okay? I'm gonna take my metal tip off for this. All right. Get the glue nice and along the chipboard just like we did for the other one. Bring it over the top and just bend it first or burnish it first with your fingers. Then you can go with the with the bone folder and then right along the chipboard on the side. That just makes a really nice square edge for you. All right, and wrap all of the sides the same way. All right, so we have our chipboard frame wrapped. So the next thing we need to do is wrap our back cover. And the back cover is going to be the same concept as what we just, how we just wrapped the outside of the frame. So go ahead and fold and burnish first. All right, so now we've got it fold and folded and burnished over the chipboard. So now I'm just gonna grab my scissor and we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna trim off, leaving about a 16th of an inch between your chipboard and your cardstock all the way around, just like so. All right, and then we're just going to wrap up the the cardstock over the chipboard and again I go right along the chipboard first then all over my flap so just fold it over it go with your fingers first so that because that has a more even pressure to smooth out the glue so it doesn't bubble out everywhere and then again, just run your bone folder along that edge just to square it off, okay? So do that all the way around. All right, so now we've got the back cover wrapped and the frame for the front of our book wrapped as well. So now let's work on the spine. So for the spine, remember this was a two and a half by eight inch piece of chipboard that we glued to a four and a half by 10 piece of our lightweight cardstock. So what we're gonna do first is wrap up the top and bottom, so the two short sides we're going to fold over top of the chipboard and i'm going to kind of pre-burnish it so that it molds over the side of the chipboard so that the cardstock does okay just like this then we're going to take our glue and put it right along the edge 
of our chipboard and all over this section here, this long rectangle that we created by folding. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit down the side where it's going to be molding down. Okay. So again, I'm going to go over with my finger first and burnish the middle. And then I'm going to kind of let my bone folder slide off the side of the of my chipboard so I get that really nice crease in there. And by pre-doing this before you before you even add glue, it makes it so much easier to do that. All right, so the same thing on the other side. Fold it over, burnish it, and even go along that chipboard. All right, just like this. All right, then add your glue. So all over this section here. And then down a little bit on the side of your chipboard. Just like this. Make sure you get it really nice and creased, molded to the side of your of the side of your chipboard. Then you can go ahead and fold over those sides, the long sides. Just fold them over on both sides. All right, so now your piece should look like this. Now you're gonna take, now you're gonna take your scissors and you're basically going to cut from where that's molded in there across to where it ends here, okay? So just like this, you're gonna leave that much space and just down to where the folded over cardstock ends, okay? Just like this, and we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. All right, so your spine piece should look like this. All right, so we have all of our pieces wrapped, so it's time to assemble. So what we're going to do first is glue this tab to the front to the back of our frame. So make sure that your nicely wrapped um, frame is down and we've got the back of it here. So what I'm going to do first is just reburnish one of my flaps here and I'm going to add my glue. So I'm using the arc glitter glue and I'm putting it all over this flap, making sure to get into the corners really nice. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lay it down right on top of my frame. And then I'm gonna pick it up and make sure that these edges here are aligned. So you want it to be aligned top and bottom and the edges and give it a bit of a press and then just kind of slowly open it. And then we can take our bone folder and burnish it down really nice. Just like this, so burnish it very well. All right, and then we're going to attach the back one the exact same way. So just add your glue to your flap here. Make sure to get to all your corners. Again, you can completely use tape for this step. Double-sided tape if glue is not your thing. All right, and just take it and lay it right on top of the back of our, of our uh, book. So it is eight by eight and it is square. So you don't really have to worry about the orientation of your, like whether it's the short side or the long side, and then just open it up and burnish that on really nicely. All right, so now we have to put on our little construction strips on either side of the spine. So again, those measure one by eight and we have scored them in half on the one inch side. And now I'm just going to fold 
and burnish them both. So just fold them in half where you scored them. Just like this. All right, now we're going to grab our scissors and cut from this corner up to our score line. And same thing on the other side. So we're just doing a little miter. So it should look like that on both sides. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just like so. All right, so these are just gonna go right here and right here. So I'm gonna grab my glue and I'm going to put it on one of my one side like one little half inch section here all over there and i'm going to lay it down along the edge of my chipboard just like this all right and we can burnish that on All right, and then fold it back and I'm going to put it on the other side. So put some glue on the other side. All right, and I'm gonna add my, or sorry, I'm gonna burnish here now on this side. So burnish it down really well. And then you can go ahead and just fold that over. Just like that. All right, and that really strengthens it up and it covers that raw chipboard. So same thing on the other side. Add your glue to one little half inch section first. Just like so and just place it right along your chipboard. Just like this, and you can burnish it down. All right, and then add your glue to this one. all over your flap and then lay that one down and burnish it. All right, and then again, you can go ahead and do that crease. So this really strengthens up your book. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our acetate over here. So again, the acetate measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And I have just put my um, score tape along the edges here of my acetate, but I'm also going to put score tape around my opening. So this is three eighths. All right, and then just be super, super careful placing it down because once this is down, it's down. All right, then just smooth it on, just like this. All right, so now we're going to attach our frame that we created at the very beginning to cover up all of this mess. Um, so what I've done is I've put score tape along the edges of it and I'm not putting it right here, like right along the opening because I was thinking it might be kind of cute to be able to 
kind of tuck things in here like little ephemera or little photos or whatever. So I'm not going to put it right along the edge. I've just got it along the outside. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to remove a little bit of the backing of one corner of my um, of my frame and I'm going to align it so that it's really nice and lined up. It should cover the whole inside of your open, like of your, the whole inside of your front cover. All right, and then once you have it in place, you can press down over here and take off the rest of that backing and just smooth it down. So now you can kind of carefully open it and remove the rest of your backings. This is a bit of a tedious part, but that's okay. All right, and then just kind of gently bring it down. All right, so then that nicely finishes off the inside of our frame so it's all nice and covered up. All right, so that is the end of part one. So I will be back for part two very soon.